focus. Good day and greetings and welcome to Sunday evening. Up here in the yard in Syracuse. It's gonna be a long day. All right, it's a little breezy out here and it's gonna get dark real fast. Taking a load down to HQ, dropping that, swapping tractors. I'm getting the old mistress back today, which is the Mac I drove last year that lasted, uh, what, 10 months or so without having to swap. Then I'm going down to Pittston, picking up a load. I'm taking out to Williamsville, New York. I'm gonna drop and hook and head back to Syracuse. It can be done, but it's gonna be real close to the old DOT clock today. Good miles though, good hourly pay. All right, I gotta get out of here. I'm running out of time. Okay, so good day and greetings from Pittston, Pennsylvania. Doing some dropping and hooking and hooking and dropping. And I'm a little agitated right now. Uh, apparently, Bend Over Express has been bought out by uh, Lies and Broken Promises Express. They'll get into that more in just a moment here. Right now, I got to uh, roll out to Williamsville, New York, and uh, I got to take my break along the way. That's all I got to say right now. That guy right there, he's got a loud reefer. Wrapping up my 30 minute DOT waste of time break. I'm here at the, uh, well, it's the New York Welcome Center on 81 North on the New York Pennsylvania state line. It's now called the Southern Tier Welcome Center, whatever. I apologize for the dark lighting here, but I'm doing the best I can with what I got. To make a long story short and a short story long, I got a call last Friday Ask me if I would like the old mistress back. This is a truck I drove last year for 10 months. It's a decent running truck. Didn't have a lot of issues with it. And with my current uh, situation here, switching trucks every week or every other week, I thought it'd be nice to have a truck that I know is somewhat reliable and that would just last for a while. So, the plan was to come in early, go from Syracuse down to HQ, drop this truck off, pick up the old mistress, and carry on with my day. Well, get down to HQ, and the old mistress is nowhere to be found in the yard. Nowhere. So I'm still in the, this truck here, which uh, has the uh, broken panel up here, and the broken dashboard, and the airbag, and the seat doesn't work, so I'm sitting on the floor, which is killing my back. I don't know how you guys do this. Those guys have to drive way down on the floor. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. My back is killing me sitting on the floor. But uh, apparently, I'm stuck with this truck a little bit longer. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the old mistress. I'm gonna find out today. But I'm not too pleased. And uh, 30 minute DOT breaks just about up. And I'm gonna be a few minutes late getting to Williamsville. Oh well, it is what it is. Well, I'm out here in Williamsville, New York. Just did some dropping and hooking, hooking and dropping. And now I'm rolling back to the yard in Syracuse. I'm going to call it a day. I'll wrap this up in just a moment. Nice, easy day, but uh, it's been a day full of misadventures, let me tell you. Day full of misadventures. Nothing's gone right until now. Boy, it's a beautiful day out. Well, I'm back in Syracuse. And I discussed the truck situation with my uh, fleet manager slash dispatcher. And she wanted to know why I'm still in this truck. I told her because the other truck wasn't in the yard down at HQ. And she said she would look into it. She said chances are somebody else broke down. No way, that doesn't happen here. And that they needed the truck. So, Which probably, yeah, that did happen. But, uh, what was it? Last summer... Or was it the summer before? I don't know. There was a while ago when I was trying to get uh, another truck back that I had driven for a year and a half and kept getting told, oh, you know, it's here, it's waiting for you. And then every time with the HQ, it was gone. So, it's kind of one of those things where if I get it, I'll believe it when I see it. But uh, I'm tired. I've been going since 8.30 last night, and right now it's 10.15 in the morning. I'm going to go home and uh, cruise on over to... Uh, Snoozeville. Thank y'all for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one, eh? I'm out of here.